Hello little artists, I'm Mariana Olson and today we are drawing the cat on the hat. Are you ready? Let's do this! Ok, we are going to need paper, something to color with, I'm using markers and something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. Hello little artists, today we are drawing another of the characters from Dr. Seuss cat in the hat. I'm doing this week special for them just because next week is Dr. Seuss birthday. So we're going to start this picture in the middle of the paper and we're going to go up here in the middle. We're going to do the nose and the nose is just going to be a little oval shape just like this and we're going to fill with black and underneath this oval shape we're going to do a little line just like that. It's very tiny. Now next to the nose we're going to do the eyes with two oval shapes that we are also going to fill with black. And now we're going to make a big smile that goes underneath the nose and from side to side of the eyes. So I'm just going to go like this with my smile. And I want to pass the marker twice just to make this smile a little thicker. there. Next we're going to do the bow that is down here so we know where the face goes. So we're going to leave about two finger space between the smile and the little circle we're going to do here for the bow. And then from this circle I'm going to do the first cheek. It's going to come up and around the mouth leaving a space there. And now I'm going to do a curve when I get to the eye level. Let's do the same thing. From the side of the circle, I'm going to go up, curve when I start going to the eye level. And from here, I'm going to do another curve. Now this one is going a little bit more straight up and the same thing here, a little bit up. Okay. Now from this point, I'm going to do the hat. So I'm going to rotate my paper a little. I'm going to do a line that cross kind of like a finger space from the one side, the left side and one finger space from the left side. So you put my finger and my finger here, that's about the space that I have for that. On the side, I'm going to do a curve that goes up on each side and now we're going to join it again from side to side. Just like that. Now we're going to do a second line on the face, but first we're going to finish the bow. I want to go from the circle out and curve. The same thing here, out and curve. Now let's do another curve underneath and connect with the circle. Now on the top of the hat, we're going to mark the ears that are sticking out in behind this part. So I'm going to go in a little, I'm going to trace a line and I'm going to curve and I'm going to stop right before I get to the face. From this part, I want to go down just like that. Let's do the same steps on the other side. So we went in a little, so we went in a little, we curve, we come down and stop before we get to the face. And now we come down with a little line. From this line, I want to do a couple triangle shapes. In these triangles, the first one is pointing out, then it's pointing down, and we're going to do two more, one and two. Let's do it again in the other side. It's pointing out, and then one, two, and three. And now I can connect for the last triangle to the bow, and the same thing here. Let's continue with the body. I want to leave a little bit of a space after the circle and I want to go down and curve. And then a little bit of a space, the same curve and down. Okay. We came down and then curve again down. In this space that I leave here, I want to trace a upside down letter U that is very thin. And you should have a little bit of a space in between the U and the other lines. And the feet are going to be a curve. And then another curve that joins with this line. A curve and a line. Okay. Now here the bow has two strings that hangs from the circle. So we're going to do kind of like a U shape from here. 
and another one right in behind just like that. Now let's trace the arms from this space that we leave open. We're gonna trace the first arm. We're gonna do a line and then right underneath the bow, I do a second line. Let's do the same thing here, a line and underneath the bow, another one. Now we're gonna trace the gloves by doing kind of like a C shape right here at the end of the lines. Then we're gonna do the thumb by doing a U shape upside down and another U shape just like this. One and two. Now I wanna trace the tail right here by going down and makes a curve. It's kind of like a big letter S. And I wanna come back doing kind of like the same shape. Now the last detail we're gonna do down here is from the bow, I wanna start doing kind of like a U shape down and up again. Now on the top here, I almost forget the eyebrows and we're gonna do these eyebrows really close to the hat. They're gonna be like a line and a curve. And they're pointing up a little, a line and a curve, okay? We are gonna fill these ones with black. The very last detail is the most important one and it's the big hat that is here on his head. I wanna start leaving a little bit of a space. I'm gonna go in a little and I wanna curve going up. Remember this hat is big, big, big. So I'm gonna go this high, okay? Now let's go in a little on this side and this time the line is gonna be shorter than this one. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna start doing the line, the curves, and it's curving the same direction, but it's way shorter, okay? Now from this point, I'm gonna make a curve that comes down, and then it makes another curve now to the top, and the last one goes in and connects with this one. And we're gonna trace the lines that go inside the hat by doing curves. They are gonna have the same space, so I'm gonna leave a space here I'm gonna trace another one, leave or try to leave the same space in between them. And I wanna do the last one up here. So the last part, this one is gonna be a little bigger than the other ones. The very last detail I wanna do is inside the ears, we're gonna mark this shape again. So I'm gonna go in behind the hat, doing kind of like the same shape. And this time I wanna connect with the hat. So I wanna do it again here. We're gonna do a triangle shape. We're gonna go around and connect with the hat. And there, that's it. We finished this cat. And at the end, I will put the whiskers once that we put all the color. And now, my favorite part is coming. Let's color. Okay, little artists, we are done. This is how the cat in the hat looks like with all the colors. I think they turn out super cute. At the end, I went with a darker color red on the edge of the side. And then I went with a color gray, really light gray, and it makes it look more 3D on this side. The same with this color. At the end, I went one more time underneath the hat, and that makes it look a little 3D as well. You can add more details like here on the bow. And on his cheeks, I use a color pencil just to do these rosy cheeks. And then once the, all the colors were dry, I add the whiskers and the little dots here on his nose. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss lessons step-by-step step like this one. See you next time.